my name is Primoz Skubic. Um, I'm a BIM software uh, expert uh, at Adria BIM. And today uh, is with me special guest, uh, Mr. Benjamin Gonzalez, who is a corporate development director at SAIP. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. Hello, Primoz, how are you? So for the beginning, I would like to ask you, uh, what did you do before you work for SAIP? Okay, I studied industrial engineer, industrial engineering, and while well, I used to work in the University of Valencia in the Nuclear Power Institute, until a friend called me and, and asked me to, to go to SAIP in 2003, and here I am. Um, so, what is your job inside of SAIP? Okay, in SAIP uh, I do uh, a lot of things, but most of them is to coordinate and to collaborate in research projects, in generating new agreements with universities, and to connect with different organisms uh, about BIM, uh, sustainability, energy efficiency, or different uh, types of uh, specialties. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the point to connect the different organisms with SAIP, and this is my, my role in the company. Okay, you mentioned BIM. Everybody are talking about BIM. So please explain us what uh, it's the BIM for you, for SAIP, or for the like engineer yes, thinking. Yes, I, I think BIM, we have all of, you have a definition of BIM, I have another definition, mm -hmm. but I think it's something that we need is BIM now, and in, now we are talking about the digital twins, and if you see the news, maybe the metaverse as well, mm -hmm. and they are words, acronyms, trying to, I think, uh, to put the, the digital technology, the new technology, in the construction sector. And this is BIM, is to provide the new technologies in the uh, construction sector, and that's all. Mm -hmm with 3D, with, uh, I don't know, the different wars and the new technologies. And this is what we do. So in practice, we also see that some of the engineers, they are afraid of BIM. Why do you think that it's happening? Yes, this? I think it's, they are afraid of BIM because from our point of view, there is a classic BIM and this is a new BIM or uh, just BIM. In this case, the classic BIM takes to learn a lot of tools, or more or one tool mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. expensive tool uh, and very hard to learn and all the process is focused on one tool. We believe that any specialist has to work freely with specialist tools mm -hmm. for structures, MEP, uh, bill of quantities, architecture and they could uh, work in their specialty with the best technology and the connection is up to us, not up to him. Okay, so uh, what, are, what do you think about uh, which are the most important projects which you are currently working on in SAIP? The projects, the projects that we are working, do you mean about the, the tools that we are uh, developing? Developing, yeah, your Yes, part. we have for, uh, we developed a, an architectural tool now, mm -hmm and it's, it's free for all the sector, this is amazing that, and we develop a, a structured solutions, mm -hmm. a structured solution in accordance with regulations, generating all the reports, all the 3D models, the drawings that you need. We develop a, MEPs, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, mm -hmm. and you can add a simulation, energy simulation, acoustic simulation tools, mm -hmm. And finally, we develop management tools, like uh, to, uh, in, in order to generate the bill of quantities, for example. And all of them are connected with a platform. This platform is called BIM Server Dot Center. This is a free platform, and we think that this is important to connect all these specialists with the different uh, ecosystem of uh, your, your own uh, uh, tool. You can work with it, with your background, and you don't need to, to learn more things, more acronyms. And this is what we do. Mm -hmm. So um, the question, because I'm uh, coming from Adria Beam, 
uh, for you. So how long you are cooperating with Adria Beam and how do you see uh, this cooperation in the future? Adria Beam, yeah. we, we think for, for us the, the distributors are SAIP, we think that we are a family mm -hmm. and you are part of our family mm -hmm. now, you know well, uh, and uh, we think that it's a confidence relationship and we have a, a confidence uh, relationship and we believe that uh, you and we uh, believe that you will be able to spend to spread all the solution around the country that you work on. So I think it's it's the point, and uh, we have contact the contact every day. Yes. And with in a sales point of view, technical point of view, a strategical point of view, and I think it's important that and we. We have confidence in Adria Beam for that. So uh, last week we have also the interview with uh, our customer who is using SAIP, uh, Mr. Primo Sharayets, and he was mentioning that uh, he special mentioned the technical support of SAIP. Mm -hmm. So can you give us a little bit more about this part? So Yes, the technical support for us is a very important part of our company because with spe specialized tools you need a technical support. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you will walk alone, like the like the Liverpool team. And we think that it's important to to be comfortable with a tool and to know that if you have a problem, you have a technical issue, mm -hmm. you will have the SAIP in this case or Adria Beam mm -hmm. uh, helping you. So we think this is very, very important in order to improve and your workflows in order to be more productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we are mentioning uh, a project, so you also um, um, you, are, you are involved in the European project. So that means uh, that uh, we know that you are um, involved with the Institute of Josef Stefan, with ZAK, so Zavod Zagrad Benistvo here in Slovenia. So can you tell us a little bit more about uh, this project? I, I know that you are also part of Time Pack. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, this is European research projects. We participate in, in these projects and we have partners. In this case, the Slovenian partners is the Joseph Institute. Mm -hmm. the, and uh, we participate in Time Pack project. This Time Pack project is, is about to improve the energy performance certification. Nowadays, we have the energy issue. We know very well in, in buildings are very important with that. And for this reason, we participate together in order to create new energy performance certifications in accordance with the regulation for any country and uh, to generate all the data, all the information that we need to uh, save more energy. And this is the goal of this project. Mm -hmm. And we work together and we're very happy to work with the Slovenian Institute. I also know that um, it's very important. Uh, I know that for in, in Spain you already have uh, the uh, catalog of material, so national one. Mm -hmm. So do you think that uh, this will be also some focus in the near future for Slovenia? Yes, one thing is the in this case you can calculate the the, the bill of quantities for sure. This mm -hmm. is the catalog and the catalog. Actually, we have in Spain. Um, and, and standard is BC3, mm -hmm. and we we think that it could be interesting for the Slovenian uh, country, and we will be very glad to collaborate with the organization like SAC or like GSI or whatever. Uh, and well, why not? We can collaborate, and this is part of the bill of quantities, the prices. And another thing that we consider that is important is the life cycle analysis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's not only the consume the building is how you build how you build the con and the materials mm -hmm. that, that you use and in, in this moment we think that uh, we have a tool for that we have the knowledge and we are open to collaborate in a research uh, project point of view or in other ways so that means that you can uh, make a tracking of everything, of the materials, and then it's easy to maintenance the building. Uh. The maintenance is another stage, mm -hmm. but f f uh, for sure you can do it. But I mean about the, f the first step. The first step is to uh, the construction stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The consume is one thing, the maintenance, and the deconstruction stage is the last one. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And I mean that we can improve and to take into account the whole life cycle analysis. And we need uh, tools, we need databases, mm -hmm. and we need to, to put all together. And the knowledge that you have in, the, in this country, or these institutes have in this country, and we uh, as an IT company. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, if we go a little bit more in, into the education part, so that means how SIP help universities? I don't know, the faculties of engineering, uh, that the students maybe can use your solution, uh, learn um, in the time of studying already. Yes. And how, how much did you explore this uh, globally? Uh, yes, I, I know very well this time because in the beginning of my new role in the company, mm -hmm. I used to work in this field and it's very important for us. Uh, we think that this is the future. It's the present, but it's the future. Uh, the new engineer, the new architects, the, the new specialist in any field. And for this reason, we provide the universities with our tools. Mm -hmm. We provide the professors with the tools as well. Mm -hmm. And we teach the professor in order to teach them, the uh, students. We show how it works. Mm -hmm. And we have created, actually we have created the, the platform that we have in the professional way, Beam Service Center, is mm -hmm. the, the, in, in a professional way. But we have developed an uh, educational part because we believe that this is very important. Mm -hmm. And the students has to learn in the same way that they will work in the f in the future, mm -hmm. and we collaborate in the with the universities with uh, pr to summarize providing tools, providing knowledge, and providing a new platform in order to teach. You also have some number how many universities you help, or I can s maybe it's four hundred universities around the world, around the world. four mm -hmm. or five hundred universities using our technology. Here in Slovenia and also in the Adriatic region uh, we also see that uh, the BIM Service Center can mm -hmm. be very useful in the, in the education part. Why? Because as, as you know the professor can give them some exam to do it and they are the part of this group so it's very easy to educate and uh, show them uh, what they need to do uh, on the project. Uh, you immediately see uh, because of uh, SIP solution, uh, what are the anomalies inside, if something is wrong. So I think that this part is also very important. And it is another part that uh, is, if you work with this platform, mm -hmm. in what you do is what you do is, 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 is the, the sentence that when you go to Bin Serveton Center, it's, it's that you do. Why? Because if you develop or you build or you design a structure mm -hmm. or many structures, mm -hmm. people will be able to see that you have experience in this structure. Mm -hmm. So it's not l what you say, what you say is, is what you do. So for students, for example, I think it's perfect because if they practice with new buildings, with structures or architecture or uh, mechanical, whatever, any exercise that they do, it will be in their CV automatically. So I think it's a good, uh, it's, it's a good thing for them. Okay. Um, we need to mention, so uh, the Slovenian Cham uh, Chamber of Engineer Conference will be in the next month, so in October, on 13 and 14 of October. Um, there will be also SIP. Mm -hmm. So Adria Beam, we will have a booth to, for, for all those um, engineers. Uh, but you will be also presenting something. Can you tell us a little bit more what will be the topic of the presentation? Yes, the topic will be to show, we say, the workflow, how it works, because mm -hmm. it's simple. So we will show what, the, what if you want to work with the new technology, mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. You need mm -hmm. to focus on your knowledge, in your uh, structure, architecture, or whatever you do, and how all the things, all the information connect, and we will explain this workflow. And I think it's amazing with some funny things, I think it's for, for new technologies that I like it, for example, the augmented reality, mm -hmm. or maybe you can use this 3D model that you are creating with virtual reality as well. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it's, it's cool because you can take all the information and we will show how all this information 
will be more productive for the uh, construction companies point of view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and also, um, you mentioned BIM server um, and SIP. So, uh, we know that there is a lot of solutions uh, who are presenting as BIM, as, yeah, that you can create BIM project and so on. So, can you, in the short explanation, give us uh, the information, what are the differences between other solutions which are on the market? Inside. Yes, we think that we're focusing on the knowledge with specialist tools. We think that if you are an specialist in lining or maybe in, in, in plumbing, for example, you don't need to, to create a, or to work with a tool with, a, I don't know, with duct or with other specialists. So we create an environment with specialist tools mm -hmm. in order for every specialist can work mm -hmm. only with the a, a tool that uh, they need. So I think it's important. I think this is the point. And when we work, where our workflow is focused on the project, not in one tool. When people work, uh, talked about uh, BIM and these kind of things, always is one tool inside the center of the project. Mm -hmm. We think that it's not, it's not necessary. We can provide with a lot of tools, working all together, it's simple, it's cheaper, it's more productive, actually it's better. Mm -hmm. okay. So Mr. Gonzalez, it was nice to have a, uh, an interview with you. Uh, you're always welcome here in Slovenia, also in the Adriatic region. Uh, we have very nice country, so you can see a lot of things. Uh, we are happy that we can also uh, see you or SIP presenters on uh, this uh, conference which will be in two weeks so uh, i must say thank you for joining us and uh, take care thank you thank you very much it's a pleasure always to be here thank you, thank you very much so this was the interview with uh, mr benjamin gonzalez from saip uh, you are also welcome to join us on our social media which we have it so on YouTube uh, channel, uh, all others, Adria Beam uh, websites, uh, and don't forget, we design your future.